The University of Copenhagen in Denmark just released a study on tens of thousands of uh, patients who had had heart disease, and they were studied over a 10-year period. And this is just absolutely crazy because we know about stress testing, echocardiograms, uh, CT scans of the chest to look for calcium, all those really very detailed, somewhat expensive tests to see if you have heart disease. Well, I'm going to give you some insight into how you can make an early call about what's the risk of heart disease in a person and how can you actually decide looking at someone just looking at their face whether or not they're likely to have heart disease 30 to 50 percent of the time you'll be right if you see these things little deposits around the eyes they're called xanthelasma they're little tiny cholesterol deposits they look like little tiny white pimples they're around the eyes if you have them if your hairline's receding uh, either at the temples or on the top of your head um, if you have earlobe creases straight through. That's the one sign that I do have, and I do have a family history of cardiovascular disease, so I consider that a slight increased risk factor. But if you have all of them, if you have the spots around your eyes, those little tiny white pimples, xanthelasma, if you have receding hairline, and if you have the ear creases, it's a 30 to 50 percent increase in cardiovascular risk. So what's the benefit to you? Well, rather than having to go through all of the detailed expensive testing and have that all out of your control, the parts that you can control, which is what I'm trying to give you, is a way that you can actually be involved in the care of your own health and the people around you. So you can really be helpful and say, hey, you have a lot of these signs of heart disease. Have you had a stress test? Do you have a family history? And you can be a constructive part of the community that you live in. Um, we're training natural health coaches to help people to work better with the medical community. And I want to invite you to be part of that. So if you see those ear creases, receding hairline, um, those little spots around the eyes, that person's at high risk and you should encourage them, friends, family, whatever, to have their heart evaluated by a physician. That's a good idea. In Chinese medicine, gray hair is a big sign of heart disease. And I agree with that. So if early graying's there, that's even stronger evidence. So get with your doctor. You don't get two hearts. You just get one heart per lifetime. You've got to take great care of it. And remember, in all of this stuff, a really well-trained medical professional will really make a difference. And we're better together.